Curtis and Son Funeral Home, the North Chapel on Highway 21 in Sylacauga, and the Childersburg Chapel on Highway 280 in Childersburg for pre-need funerals, burials, or cremation since 1975. Curtis and Son Funeral Home, two locations to serve you in Childersburg on Highway 280 and uh, here in Sylacauga on Highway 21, Curtis and Son Funeral Home. In obituary news this morning, visitation for Mr. Roy Green of Wigufka will be Friday from 10 until 12 at Wigufka Second Baptist Church in Wigufka. Service at noon from the sanctuary of Wigufka Second Baptist Church all on Friday. Burial in the Evergreen Memorial Cemetery. Online condolences at CurtisAndSonFH.com. Curtis and Son Funeral Home, North Chapel, directing Tony D. Adair, age 57, died March 10th at Grandview Medical Center in Birmingham. Funeral arrangement to be announced by Community Funeral Home in Sylacauga. Online condolences at communityfuneralhome.org. Alice Dates, age 75, died March 10th at Coosa Valley Medical Center, Community Funeral Home, Sylacauga, announcing... Celebration remembering the life of Mrs. Lois Nolan Curry, age 78 of Talladega, is today at 1 p.m. from S.M. Goodson Funeral Home Chapel with the Reverend Billy Joe Duncan officiating interment in the Oak Hill Cemetery. S.M. Goodson Funeral Home and Crematory Talladega directing. Funeral service for Glenn Pappy A. Davis, age 72, is Saturday at 2 o'clock from Evergreen Cemetery with Brother Ed Nix officiating. Mr. Davis died Monday, March 8th at his residence. He was a Vietnam veteran, also a member of the local chapter of the Freemasons. Radney Smith Funeral Home in Sylacauga in charge of the arrangements. This obituary report this morning, courtesy of Curtis and Son Funeral Home, the North Chapel on Highway 21 in Sylacauga, and the Childersburg Chapel on Highway 280 in Childersburg. For pre-need, funerals, burials, or cremation since 1975, Curtis and Son Funeral Home, Sylacauga, Childersburg.